I'm Tom Watson, and this is my U.S. Open. How do you define the reasons that you win a tournament? You can point at each individual shot. You're not supposed to make the putt at 11. You're not supposed to make the putt at 14. You're not supposed to chip it in at 17. You're not supposed to. But that's why people watch, to see the unexplainable. The U.S. Open was important to me because of my father. He was a golf history nut. And he said, if you win the U.S. Open, you won on the toughest golf course there is. I kind of like that. Throughout the three practice rounds, I hit the ball all over the place. But the one thing I did do, I stayed around the greens all the time and just practiced chipping out of the heavy rough. Most of the time off the down slopes onto the greens because the greens at Pebble at that time, there was a down slope and rough this much, two or three yards of this stuff before it hit the green surface. So I practiced a lot right now on those down slopes. Round one, I should have shot 78 or 79. And I just kind of hung in there. And I got to the, my last holes just trying to hold it together somehow. Wow, well, wait a minute. Pretty, you know, 15 and, yeah, yeah man, I'm pretty 16. Okay. And 17 and, you know, wow, back to even par. The second day was just like the first day. It was just a struggle, just trying to stay in the contest the best I could, using all my faculties to, you know, to score. If I hit a bad drive, okay, well, Let's just go find it and you know, try to make par. You know, par's pretty good at the national level. Again, I buried three out of the last five holes that day, and I'm still at even par. The finger's in the dam, and <laughs> I'm just holding back the water. I always went to the range after I played. And no matter if I was playing well or playing poorly, I want to confirm what I was doing well, or I want to find something to change if I was playing poorly. And I went to the range trying to find something to change. I remember a key that Sam told me, Sam Snead. He said, you know, son, you gotta keep the inside of your left arm close to your chest as you make the back swing like this. So I tried it. It worked a little bit, and I kept with it. And it worked more than just a little bit. I was on the range for an hour and a half hitting balls. And uh, finally, at the end of it, I turned to Bruce, my caddy, and said, I've got it started to pan out and I started striping with the driver, playing from the short grass rather than where the gallery's standing. I built my confidence. You know, the more I played through that Saturday round and by the end of the Saturday round, I feel a lot more at ease with my golf swing, but also uh, now the pressure was really real because now I really felt that I had a chance to win their National Open. And the bear is moving. Hearing the cheers and the roars in front of me, I knew they were you know, cheers for Jack, and they kept on coming, and then they kept on coming, and they kept on coming, and, and uh, okay, now I've got to do my job. And I had a beautiful drive at 10, way down there, and I decided to try to play a cut shot into this flag, but the wind you can see is blowing right to left, and uh, as soon as I hit it, I said, oh, no. The shots to the right, look out. Down the down hill, there? down oh. the cliff going to be in the very, very tall grass. The only wish you can have at that point is give me a lie so I can play. Fortunately, I had a lie that I could at least get the club face on the ball. Watson now gets it airborne. And as you can see, just on. Now I'm faced with a 25-footer for par here. Actually, I felt very good about this putt. You know, I, I felt like I had it read correctly. Felt like uh, he was going to just break it just lightly left to right, not very much. And uh, when I got up over the putt, I, I felt like I'm going to make this thing. That could well be the shot of the championship. There I am, still tied for the lead. What a time to hold a putt and escape with a par four. And that started a string of putts that I made from then on, you know, long putts. My caddy here, Bruce Edwards, really helped me in this part. Look at that spy! Goodness, what a putt! <laughs> Bruce said it was probably his finest read in the history of our relationship. 
And again, it's one of the three long putts I made there from 10, 11, and 14 that you're not supposed to make those. You just aren't. During my Stanford years, I played pebble early in the mornings and Saturday mornings a number of times. But I always played a game within the game. And that was uh, when I hit the 15th tee, I said, all right, now you got to par the last four holes to win the US Open. And Jack was the person I was trying to beat. And when I got to the 15th tee in 1982 in the US Open, and Jack Nicklaus was one shot behind, I said, game on. putting well you know I've got to get it close and sure enough I hit it a little bit harder than I thought was necessary and it just went sideways and broke and broke down there for basically a gimme bogey but uh, I look back on that and that's one of those extraordinary shots that I played in the last night. It's a stroke dropped goes back to four under. For Watson simple the situation two pars and you tie. A par and a birdie, you win. A par and a bogey, you lose. I hit it solidly, but I, I knew I, 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 I turned it too much to the left. I said, oh no, where is it going to go? To the deep stuff. Oh, it's going to be tough to hold it close from there, isn't it, Dave? Walking off the tee, I muttered to my caddy, Bruce. I said, that, well, that's dead. And he said, come on, let's get it up and down. As soon as I saw where the ball was sitting in the grass, I said, well, that was the shot I practiced hundreds of times in the practice rounds. Off the down slope, out of the heavy grass, try to hit as softly as possible. Bruce puts the bag down. He says, get it close. And I said, get it close. Hell, I'm going to hold it. Looks good. Really done. Looks good. Do you believe it? Do you believe What can you say? Tom Watson pitching into the hole for a birdie has taken the lead in the U.S. Open. One more par and he's finally won it. When you turn loose like that, see, I told you I was going to hold it like that. And there's a shot that will be remembered for as long as golf continues to be played. Now I have a one-shot lead for the tournament I wanted to win the most. My thoughts immediately went to, okay, now I've got to play the last hole. I played the 18th hole with a three foot off the tee and I hit it as far as a driver. I was so pumped. He's just taking an iron. And I hit a seven iron to lay up. I just wanted to make sure I had the right angle into the front right flag position. Good looking shot in the air. Let's see. Good start. Oh, yeah. right. Now I have this downhill putt to two putt to win the national open. to me again. And then he went, <laughs> congratulations, I'm really happy for you. You won our US Open. And uh, you know, it, was, it was special. I've been dreaming of this moment since I was 10 years old. It was a great, great feeling to be able to call my dad on Father's Day, know that he shared the victory with me. This is a tournament that he loved the most. The one tournament that I wanted to win the most. This is what I've always dreamed of. And I finally had won it.